Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on my way to retaliation in the Black's Law Dictionary. Yes. But there's what's known as the public liability uh, insurance. See, liability insurance under insurance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this liability insurance of each and every county. Let's say mm -hmm, that I'm right. Mm -hmm. And every one of these court hearings that you've had since July 8th of 2011 was because my wife did know about me before she married me and she had information that I didn't have. Yeah. She agreed to be married for 10 years and we had five sons. But she was in the family. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really a truthful marriage because she agreed that she would stay married. Uh-huh. And then she made up a story on Guam where I was alleged to have committed domestic violence and child abuse. Mm. I went through diversion, seven hours of parenting classes. Mm -hmm. But when she got here, you issued a protection order mm. where you gave custody of my sons to my wife that did have knowledge that I was actually a very wealthy man. Mm. Then you reissued it on the 22nd, Brent Basin, oh, without any actual notice or opportunity to be heard for myself. Yes. And then she made some declarations about how he's crazy and he tried to beat the shit out of her and all kinds of other lies. Yes. And then Judge Ken Williams issued a protection order. Yes. For one year. Mm -hmm. When I was on... Oh, I was on probation from Guam, the jurisdiction of the arrest. Yes. And then Judge Ken Williams issued a dissolution of marriage in uh, 2012. Right. My wife had me arrested for the allegation of violating the protection order. Yes. And uh, I didn't. I was found not guilty. Yes. Now, um, this comment entry. Yes. In case information cover sheet. Right. She has me arrested on Memorial Day of May of 2012. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, Brent Baston, reissued the protection order because of the, the allegation that I violated it. But you weren't the judge of the trial. Mm -hmm. And it was enforceable until August 12th of 2011. Mm -hmm. When I would no longer have been on probation, the arrest record would have been sealed, yes. The court docket would have been sealed, yes. And the evaluators' evaluations would have been sealed, yes. And you never had any domestic violence or child abuse in the state of Washington. Now, you decided to reissue it by minute order, yes. That happens to be in violation of the requirements of the RCWs of the state of Washington, yes. Yeah that you give me five judicial days prior to court hearings. Oh, but you didn't really attempt service on me, did you, Sheriff? No. Sheriff Joe Haw. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just wanting to make sure because when you issued this, mm -hmm. um, who was it that had jurisdiction over the dissolution of marriage? Judge Ken Williams. Yes. Superior Court Judge, uh, had been a Superior Court Judge for 25 years, yes. Now, Superior Court Judge Ken Williams, mm -hmm. you might have remembered the Hulse family property in Clallam County. Now, Elmer and Verna had a piece of property, as did oh, Ray and Sue Hulse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was arrested, you served me at the same moment. That was a wrongful execution of dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems that you've been having court hearings that are fraudulent, yes, to cover up what knowledge Heidi had about me before we were married. Yes, she'd been married two times before. Yes, once to a Bosma, yes, and the other to a logger named Hodges, mm -hmm, where she had a biological daughter named Jessica Lee Hodges. Yes, I think Jessica was born in Clallam County. Yes. Yes. Could you get <clears throat> now just looking at it? Yes, the amount of fraud. Yes, now at that time, oh, um, you had no jurisdiction of law to issue a protection order because I wasn't a resident of the state of Washington. 
I was on unsupervised uh, probation when I got here where I was ordered to not contact the petitioner or the minors named. Yes. And I didn't violate the provisions of the probation order. Now, when I told you that I wanted you to remove this right now, I'm going to sue every individual that happens to be an employee of this local government. Yes, Jefferson County's local government, which every county of every sheriff in the state of Washington and every judge, which every attorney that has sworn, oh, we would not leave any citizen defenseless or oppressed. <clears throat> now, I do find it oppressive that I had to call the public defender's office. <clears throat> now, these bar associations, <laughs> it's going to be one of those multi-hundred billion dollar days. <laughs> Give me the liability insurance for every, because I'm suing you for all your fucking insurance. Do you understand? Now, these public lands, yes, mm -hmm. I think that I have a lot of land. Uh -huh. Federal public laws are first published in the statutes at large and eventually collected by subject in the United States Code. <laughs> I just told you about the United States Code. Ooch. Ooh. And uh, the United States Code that says it's unreasonable and vexatious, yes, to have court hearings where you don't protect the due process rights of the respondent. <laughs> because a court wants to say I'm crazy for knowing my own grandmother, yes, my own grandfather, yes, my own aunts and uncles, yes, my own wife. <laughs> now, for some stupid fucking reason, you seem to think that as long as you obstruct my rights as a citizen, 